Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I have another favorites video for you guys today. These are seriously my favorite to film. I have a ton of athletic wear, some shoes, some supplements, some beauty items, and then some cozy stuff here in the back that you can see that we'll get to at the very end. I think in today's video, I'm actually gonna start off with the athletic wear. In my last favorites video, I talked about me ordering a Buff Bunny short dupe on Amazon, and that is what these are. I got red and blue, which I've been wearing on repeat all summer long, and I, I have not tried the Buff Bunny short, so I don't know. They're like an exact dupe as far as material goes. They have the stitching that kind of goes to a V to accentuate the booty, I guess but I like how long these are too. I'm not exactly sure the length, I would guess maybe um, a six inch inseam, but I will double check and put it on the screen for you guys. I have them in blue and red. I got them both in a size small and I would definitely say they run true to size, super cute, not expensive option. And I feel like Buff Bunny never has my size anyway, so even if I wanted to order them, I, I never get the opportunity to because they sell out. Next, I have this ribbed little set. Comes with this little top and it does have pads in it. Kind of just a little v-neck tank and it has the matching leggings that are also a ribbed material. This is just super easy, not a lot of effort outfit for summer. You can just throw on and I have been wearing it on repeat and I know I will continue to wear it throughout the fall. Next, I have this adorable Lululemon skirt that I have been actually wearing a lot more than I thought I would. I just thought it would kind of be fun to have, like if I ever go golfing and stuff like that, but a lot of people have been wearing like the athletic skirts all the time this summer. And I loved the way that this one's cut up on the sides. So it has this little like flare piece. It does have shorts underneath built in. And the, the shorts, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but they have um, like the little gel that makes it so they don't ride up. But super cute, a lot less expensive than the Lululemon one and great quality. I just didn't want to spend a ton of money because I really only thought I would be wearing it golfing. Um, so I just wanted to get like the $27 one on Amazon versus the, I don't know, $90 one on Lululemon. I'm not exactly sure how much it is. I have been pairing that skirt with this top a lot. Again, something I thought I would be getting for golfing. It does have padding. I got it from Old Navy. Super cute. Yeah, I haven't been wearing it golfing. I've just been wearing it you know, all the time. And I've actually gotten a ton of compliments when I wear this outfit together. I think it looks so cute. Definitely gives you like the country club girl vibe. Next, I have this adorable pair of Nike 270s. The moment I saw them, I had to have them. You guys know that I love my 270s in general. This is what I like to wear when I go to the gym. But this color combo, how it has, you know, pink, purple, it has orange down at the bottom, blue at the back. It also has a blue check up here and orange. Oh my gosh, I just, they couldn't have come up with a more perfect pair of shoes. And this check mark is kind of like a, a darker orange peachy color. Again, something everywhere I go, a lot of people comment on them because they're so fun and colorful. If you haven't tried the 270s, I highly, highly recommend them. I ordered mine just from Nike's website. Next, I have a couple beauty type items. I think I actually have shared this before, but I wanted to share it again because it is one of my staples for summertime and really just all the time. It is the Dime Wonder Screen. You'll notice as soon as you put it on, it makes your skin super, super glowy, and then it will kind of absorb into your skin. But this sunscreen has 19% zinc oxide. I have not gotten sunburned one time while wearing this, and I only put it on once in the morning. I'm not a reapply type of girl because I normally will put a little concealer on over top of it, and that would just create a huge mess. So 
I really have only been applying it once and I have not gotten sunburned on my face all summer. I also love this one because the white cast dissipates and you just look very natural and glowy. Normally a zinc oxide would seriously be like the white paste that used to be like on people's noses. This next item I actually don't think I've ever shared even though I've had it for a while. Um, it's from the brand Juliet Has a Gun. It's a perfume and it's called Pear Ink. And I just feel like it is the perfect scent for this time of year, like a summer transition into fall. It has a very fresh, like high-end scent, but it also mixes a little, you know, musky in with it. It says that it's a unisex scent. I would think it's more on the girly side though. Next up, I have posted a couple shorts about this because I'm absolutely obsessed with these. Um, this is from the brand Mix Hers. It's a little drink mix. And I got the Her Time subscription and it came in this cute little box. This is the packet that I got originally, which is the pomegranate mango and I'm obsessed with this flavor. And then it went on sale and so I ordered more in the strawberry lemonade. Um, but inside this little kit, it came with one of the little frothers to mix your drink um, and it also came with this little sample box so you can try every single flavor that they have so you know which ones you like and don't like. Um, I haven't tried them all. I know the pomegranate mango is good, the strawberry lemonade is good. I'm not a huge fan of the juicy peach one. For some reason it gave me like a <laughs> an amoxicillin vibe when I was younger. I always had strep throat and my amoxicillin was always like this weird peach flavor and so it really reminded me of that like a less strong version of that but it wasn't my favorite but I absolutely love this product it's a PMS support drink it's supposed to help soothe menstrual cramps level mood swings ease bloating and supports normal cycles there's a bunch of stuff that it can help with just kind of helping regulate hormones um, it can help with like hormonal acne. What I have really noticed is the mood leveling, especially around the time of my period. I get super, super wound up and like anxious. And this has definitely helped with that. I've been putting my drink in this water bottle. It's the Owala, I assume that's how you say it, brand. Hear me out, okay? I loved the Hydro Flasks. I loved the Stanleys. But this water bottle really just takes it home. So it has this little lock so that, you know, things aren't just getting in your water. But the reason I love it is because it has the lid. So this is where you actually drink from. So the lid covers the whole thing. The Hydro Flask, that is my issue, is it just folds down and like the part where you put your mouth is still like exposed to everything, which I don't like. So it has that, but then on the inside, if you can see it has this little hole right here and there's a straw too. So it has the benefits of both the Hydro Flask and the Stanley wrapped in one and it's just so much better. So next up I have this book that I am absolutely obsessed with. It's called Visions from Beyond the Veil by Lee Nelson. It's just a giant book compiled of different people's near-death experiences, which is so weird, but I've been obsessed with reading people's near-death experiences lately. And I just thought this was such a beautiful book. I seriously could not put it down. Like that's a pretty, a pretty thick book. And I read it in like a week or less because it's so good. So if you like near-death experiences, or maybe you are wondering or have questions, this is a great place to start. Next up, I have the cozy items. This pillow, I was really hoping I would not like it because it was super expensive. Well, I guess it's not that expensive, but to me it's expensive because I don't spend money on stuff like this. But it came in a pack of two for $70 and I got it on Amazon. The reviews were insane. So that's really what sold me on it. It's from the Beckham line and it's supposed to be like their hotel pillow. And let me just tell you, 
it is a hotel pillow. I don't know. This is a heavy pillow. Like, it's actually heavy. And for some reason, that just makes me think that it's so much better quality. I don't know. But I am obsessed with these. I don't know about you, but I am a cold girl during the summer because everybody has the AC on all the time. And I freeze to death. So I got this minky blanket at the beginning of the summer. If you've ever tried a minky blanket, you know how amazingly soft and like luxurious and just cozy their blankets are. But this is the Hugs version, which is a newer version of their blankets because it has, as you can see, like these weird looking ridges or seams, it stretches. So not only is it cozy and amazing, it's also stretchy like the Barefoot Dreams blanket, which is, I love the Barefoot Dreams blanket because of the stretch. Now you get the best of both worlds because this one's like nice and will actually keep you warm. I feel like the Barefoot Dreams blankets are pretty thin, but this one will actually keep you warm and it's stretchy too. So I got the biggest size, which I think is the grande and it covers like my whole king size bed. So it's amazing. And I don't want to share it with anybody. <laughs> Even though it's big, it is personal size. I feel like this video is kind of short and sweet, but that's really all I have for you guys. I don't feel like I've been testing a ton of products lately. And these are kind of just my favorites. And I've just been sticking to a lot of my previous favorites. So I don't have a ton of new stuff to show you guys, but this is everything that I have been loving lately. I have been doing a lot of reading, but I plan to do a separate video for all of the books that I've been liking. I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of books in my favorites video, so I just shared the one. But if you have any recommendations for me on what I should read next, let me know down in the comments. And I'll link my Goodreads too so we can be friends and I can see what you guys are reading and you guys can see what I'm reading. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. And I